Hi, this is John with The Evolving World. Today I'm doing a video on something that I did about well, six months ago. Um, experimenting with the aerodynamics of the car here. And this is the first time I actually posted a video about it. I actually put this in about maybe six months ago. But one of the things that's kind of uh, interesting here, I filled in this uh, open spot down here with some uh, black coroplast which is like this plastic kind of cardboard corrugated plastic I don't know if you can see that but the idea is not to make it look cleaner in the front but to actually kind of hopefully benefit the aerodynamics I've looked at this topic before some people on one of the websites I was looking at, some people did the same thing. Claimed that they got like, uh, you know, quite a bit more better range and everything. So, that's kind of reason I did it. So, just kind of opening up the topic right here, because I've, I'm not sure if I've, if I've really noticed any difference on it. And that's why I'm kind of opening the topic here, because I'm kind of interested to see what anyone else has to say about it. I mean, theoretically, you don't really need any air going into the radiator. I mean, unless you're just running the AC. And, um, but the funny thing is, is that I've not noticed any difference as far as that goes. I was running the AC, it was 95 degrees, I was driving on the highway. And I really didn't notice any difference as far as the, the actual, um, efficiency or, well, I mean, it, nothing overheated or anything. I mean, it's, and the air, air conditioning was working perfect, so I'm not sure what to think about it but it looks it certainly looks clean in the front the black smooth panel I mean nobody even notices it really so if anyone is curious of how I made this thing it's actually pretty simple you take a piece of cardboard and it's just kind of butt it up against the edges here and then take another piece and tape it on the bottom and you kind of get this nice form it kind of just fits right in here and then you just basically trace it onto a piece of whatever material you want. So I used Coroplast, which is like this, it's basically like cardboard, but it's like plastic cardboard. And um, so yeah, that's basically all you gotta do. It's pretty simple. It's a nice little project. So actually I've got a whole bunch of this stuff. I, I scored a whole mess of it. You know, if the stuff actually does work, it must be kind of nice to market the product as a uh, I'll be mean, one of those guys get 10% improvement by inserting this little piece of plastic in your grill. But yeah, this is basically what I did. So I just take the, after I take the piece of cardboard, you just basically line it up here, just trace right onto the coroplast here. See, it does look like kind of like cardboard. But yeah, this stuff is very durable. You don't have to finish it or anything. It's already black. It's already a beautiful satin black, so it actually works out really nice. You just trace it in there, cut it out, stick it in I, I use some wire wrapped it around the existing grill so it, it can come off like in probably 30 seconds if i wanted to take it off but actually just those two pieces of wire worked really well because i've had that thing on there for like the last 9,000 miles or so it's like highway driving works really really well um so yeah that's that's my average economy i get 4.5 miles per kilowatt and if i got about 16 kilowatts or so available that's about 72 miles that's about what i get if I really drive, I mean, I never run it down to zero, but if I did run it down to zero, that's probably what I would get. So I think it's fairly accurate here. So I'm kind of curious what you guys have to, th to say about it. Um, you know, if, uh, what do you, what, what, what numbers do you see? Because, I mean, obviously, if you, the higher number is better. So I got a 4.5. And, um, yeah, I'm curious to see if anyone's gotten higher than that. And if, if anybody's done any error mods to the car... Because that's, it's kind of interesting because if you can get a couple more miles on a car that gets 60 or so, you know, if you could bump it up to 62 or if you get 10% improvement, it'd be like 66. And sometimes that can make, that can make quite a difference. At least it does for me. So, yeah, it's kind of what this, this topic's about. Um, I didn't do a video about this before because I wasn't sure if it's working or not. And I don't really want to tear off the front end or anything. and Or, I mean, not tear off the <laughs> I don't want to remove the thing and then just experiment and just drive it without it. I mean, it, 
it might make a difference, but it's, I don't know, it's just, I don't, I really want to, I don't really have the time, the hours to do it, so I'm just kind of curious to see what, what the people are getting as far as your economy, is it 4.5, or is it like 3, or is it, you know, 2, or, you know, I mean, obviously, it depends on how fast you drive and all that stuff, but, but this, this, it was, it was pretty much, I think it was about 3 when I bought the car, 3.5 or something like that, it kept, it kept crepping up pretty, pretty consistently, then we reached about 4.5 last year, and then um, dipped to 4.4 when I was driving more on the highway. Now, now it's back up to 4.5. And so I, I typically, I don't really drive much faster than 60 on the highway. Um, that's typical for me. And then um, on longer longer range trips, I had to drop it down to 55 in some cases just to make sure I could make the next station, next charging station and such. So, so that's kind of what I do, and I just drive around town. Um, but that's, that's, that's about what I do as far as to get that number. And I don't know if the aero mods are making any difference. They don't do anything probably under 35 miles an hour. But I would think that once you get a little bit higher up, it might make a difference. So I'm just kind of curious what, what you guys have to say about it. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback and chime in on uh, what your thoughts are. Uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.